Woo! Good morning, my loves. Mmm. Aren't I looking just peachier? <laughs> I'm getting ready for work. This is the day before, well, this is Thursday, and this is like my birthday weekend. I decided to <laughs> try not to be stressed out uh, this weekend. We'll see. I'm just getting ready for work. I haven't really been wearing a lot of makeup for work. I'm sorry if this is a little shaky, but we are in the beauty room. I got my nightgown on. <laughs> bra optional um because i'm wearing my glasses today i take my rc may no color powder and just kind of press it on there after i do my makeup after i've set everything and just kind of let it sit there for a little bit so right now i'm really blind um and i'm just found my hoochie hoops to put on my ears because i'm not wearing a wig today i'm just wearing my sassy buns and stuff but i'm really excited because i just got to test drive this brand new 2018 Mazda I know I know so yeah I get to test drive it for a week and I gotta give it back on my birthday but we ain't mad at it um it was a great opportunity from Mazda so I thank them so much it's pretty dope um and I get to show you guys the car and all that shit we get to go shopping in it and I I'm like super excited but yeah this is my face for today I'm actually going to be using my NARS for my lips, I'm going to be using the Power Matte. Look, I, I keep the box. I don't know why it's like my prized possession. It's the only NARS product I have besides my creamy, radiant creamy concealer, the little baby one. It's my only NARS product. But anyway, on my eyes today, I have the It's My Ray Ray palette. I have the Radiant Highlight, which is this beauty right here. I know. I know it's not focused. We're just... Anyway, I'm going to dust this off. I'm going to put on my glasses so I can see a bra, some pants. I wish they were optional. Um, and then we'll head on to work. Okay, guys? <laughs> uh, anyone else get leaky nose, watery eyes right when you're about to do your makeup? Like, how disrespectful is this? I didn't even apply my lipstick yet, okay? Um, yeah. But glasses are on. <laughs> I ain't one. <laughs> anyway, I gotta get dressed now. Because <laughs> I feel like it's only me. And I'm like, am I allergic to my makeup? Because if that's the case, where my EpiPen at? Mm? <laughs> Oh, I, I don't drink coffee, but I might need to. Guys, I'm trying not to die going down these stairs. Oh my God. Oh my God. So this is the Mazda, and this one is my car. Um, I love a crossover, you know? Just love me a crossover. Have my keys in my hand. Oh yes, honey. Look at this beauty right here. Wepa. Of course, this is the brand new Mazda CX-5, which I'm in love with. Like, I didn't think I would ever be in love with this kind of car. It is gorgeous. It's the CX-5. It's the Grand Touring all-wheel drive. It's fully loaded. Like, this has all the bells and whistles and all the techie stuff. The interior, as you guys can see, is called parchment. It is leather. It's smooth on the booty. Um, the color is the soul red crystal metallic color. I don't know. It's dope. Um, of course, it's a little grungy because of the weather here in Connecticut. It is just snowing and salt and everything. This has a power moonroof. It has like bright lights inside. It has the XM radio, navigation and all that. The thing I love the most is actually the sensors of the car. Of course, I love all the bells and whistles and everything is just super comfortable to sit in and to be warm and toasty within like two minutes. Okay, my love. So I'm on my way to work. <laughs> my God. I'm just warming up the car. I always warm up my cars. Even in the summer, I warm up my cars. I just feel like that's just how it's supposed to be done. Um, I know the angle is kind of crappy. I'm gonna see if I can work out this angle for the weekend while we're driving around. I gotta get my nails done, so I gotta text my nail lady um, to see if she can meet with me today, cause tomorrow I'm going out um, with some coworkers and stuff, and I don't got time to be doing all that, and I wanted to go shopping with you guys, see if there's anything new at the drugstore or anything like that, because you know a girl is not stepping foot in no Sephora or Ulta unless need be, um, but I did, I do realize that, like, Ulta has, like, BH Cosmetics and Morphe products and stuff, I just don't know if they're in store just yet, but anyway, I will show you guys, like, the interior of this car, it's dope, I did a little video on it, this thing has a steering wheel, warmer y'all got that because if you'll do hit me up um 
no, this thing has a steering a steering wheel warmer, which I never. I was like, I saw it. And I was like, that's so bougie. <laughs> I was like, um, that's a little extra. And then I turned it on last night, and I was just. I've been having a really rough bit of time and I was really sad and I don't know why when I grabbed the steering wheel it was like all happiness <laughs> and my hands were cold so there's that but I turned it on you know oh, trying trying to live the life for a week honey <laughs> this car is amazing I actually was looking into getting a Mazda um it was an older one of course because you know the way my wallet works it don't the way my bank account works <laughs> it don't um so i was looking into an older like a 08 or a 09 like a cx9 or cx7 and i never thought of the cx5 so i think they're just a newer model and of course i have way more info you know down the line about this kind of car but this is like the perfect crossover because i have a tiguan which is a crossover you know it's definitely not a big suv or anything like that but I love cars like this because it's not a mom car or a dad car. You definitely have the room, the trunk space, you definitely have the room, the leg space, and you have the height of like kind of like an SUV and that's the beauty of a crossover. I'm in love guys. I'm so in love. It's got both speakers. It's got the Navi. It's got everything. This one's fully loaded. Absolutely gorgeous. <sighs> Girls in love. Now if it could just make my double chin go away then that'll be on the top ranks <laughs> i'm trying to find out if there's any new drugstore releases because i haven't been really shopping too much or whatever but because it is my birthday weekend i wanted to splurge just a little bit on some drugstore finds i'm all for drugstore first and i do love my luxe products of course i've been wanting this nars foundation for months now and for two months since it released or pre-released and i haven't been able to get my hands on it because nars is playing games on the website I had someone that wanted to get it for me and I was like, you know, no, whatever. And then I had a gift card and I wasn't able to use it. It was just so dramatic with NARS. And I'm like, I'm not, is, am I not supposed to have this foundation? That's probably it. <laughs> so I've kind of been putting that off. I've been loving this L'Oreal foundation though. She's popping. I know it smells like, you know, all the toilet, the red, um, but I love the way it sits on my skin and I hate that because it smells so what I want to do is I want to see if I can find a new you know the newer bottled version I'm assuming that that's why they discontinued it like at Walmart or whatever I want to see if they have it still on sale in stores or if they're re-releasing it maybe they're bottling it up you know in a different tube or bottle or whatever because it's absolutely divine yeah, I'm looking for new drugstore finds I'm not sure what has been released yet so I'm just gonna do some research and stuff I've kind of been not that I'm not involved in social media I just kind of been avoiding any new releases because I'm on a strict 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 budget right now um it just is what it is right now so you know you sometimes gotta hone yourself in just because you do YouTube doesn't mean you could just splurge all the sh money in the world okay it just doesn't happen that way so you just gotta think smartly and yeah yeah i gotta do an empties video for you guys oh my god yo the drive on this is so freaking great yo did you like this thing has an odometer on the windshield I, and i'm sorry if you guys know about all this stuff i don't clearly i don't oh my god the sensors on this bad boy oh my god i remember when i got in the car I was screeching so I wouldn't have been able to film for you guys because all you would have heard was long screeches of excitement I don't think I've ever been this excited in a while and the first thing I said was that the car smells like a new box when you open up a box of Jordans or Nikes or whatever I was like it smells like brand new sneakers in here <laughs> I'm an idiot we've established that I'm a weirdo <laughs> anyway guys I'm headed to work now I'm very close to work I will be touching base with you guys when I get my nails done so we can show off the goodies. I'm thinking like an eggplant purple mat with like a holographic ring finger. What do you guys think? I mean, it'll be done by then, but I'm thinking that's all that's been sitting in my head because I'm my stone is the amethyst because my birthday is on February 6th. So my stone is the amethyst and I wanted to do something like purple. Anyway, guys, I got to get off and to go to work and do that thing that people call work. 
First of all, I gotta find parking, and that's gonna take me 30 minutes. Ain't that some shit? Mm. Look at that. You can't even judge me, boo boo, because I park like a boss. Look at that sexiness right there. Oh my god. Yes, she's dirty though. Like her mama. Well, her. You know, <laughs> her adopted mama for the week. Look at her. Yep, like a boss. Hello, earthlings. Don't I look like a haggard old lady today? Oh. So, story time with Evie. So, I'm in. Let me mute that. I'm in a few towns over. I was trying to find an outfit for today, something very inexpensive. And one, I had a meltdown at the dressing room because I feel gross and it just, I wanted the outfit that I wanted. It was like a, a romper, but it had like, you know, a dress in the back. So it was like a long tail. And I thought it would have been like dope as hell to put with some like, um, with some fishnet stockings if I could find any that fit and some like just regular biker boots or whatever and just go about my fucking day right no that's not how it happened um i i left the dress managed to fit my big ass in one and i know that i needed to go up a size so i'm feeling some type of way i don't know how i'm gonna feel later on in the afternoon because right now it's only 11 30 in the morning um but anyway before all that happened, I come out of my car. I come out to my car. My daughter's warming up the car here. The Mazda. And there was a sheet of ice next to my car. So I'm walking, walking, walking. I have her keys in my hand and her glasses in the other. Because she takes my keys. I keep hers. Whatever. And I, this hasn't happened to me in, I don't think, ever. I fell. I slipped. And I fell straight on my back on my my landlord's driveway let's say it's not my driveway but on our driveway and i don't remember if i hit my head um i have a banging headache right now but i feel it's because i'm so stressed out but my coccyx my butt bone is throbbing so bad right now like just just pain like if it was from zero to ten giving birth i would say it's probably a six it's something i can tolerate because i deal with back pain all the time the problem is it's like really right now like I haven't fallen in forever I'm very I do not know what happened I was stepping on wet snow like on on leaves because it's not like he cleans the leaves my landlord cleans the leaves or whatever um, so these are old leaves that have just been muddled up with ice water or whatever so I walked on them but then as I'm going to turn around to go into my car just slipped and I fell on my back and I fell like this with my hands down so my elbow hurts my hand was red it's not as red this one's warmer but this was all red and it feels it has like little dots red dots on it it's just from the impact and I'm just like oh my god I'm so mentally drained like I don't need this kind of negativity in my life right now but anyway I went to Rainbows. I picked up a jacket and a top that doesn't fit me. And by doesn't fit means that when I roll it down, when I bring it down to my fatness, it rolls right back up. But because I don't have all my garments on, in a sense, I want to try it on when I'm at home and see how I like it. I don't think I'm going to like it, but I went to the dollar store right next door and I got me a Dr. Pepper. I got some gum, which I'm going to leave here in the car because we don't need it. I got a hair pinch because it's so windy outside that it keeps clipping my hair onto the window. I got bobby pins because I'm a strong believer of never paying two dollars or more for bobby pins. So I got these at the dollar store. I picked up some white rain this is a facial cleanser and makeup remover foaming face wash to gently ge gently gently remove makeup for soft clear clean skin oh 
don't know. Today is Friday. Today is the day that I'm going to meet up with my coworkers and we're going to go out. We're going to have drinks. We're supposed to have fun and you know, whatever, whatnot. Um, I'm not feeling it right now, to be quite honest. Okay. Just not feeling it. I picked up five bags of these. These are the hers, hairs, jalapeno poppers. Yeah. We're going to eat our feelings for a minute and then we're going to drive off to... I need a pair of pants. Um, if you guys were on my Snapchat, hey Snapchat fam, you guys know that I like drag the TGI Friday versions of these. They're gross. Gross. These are so good. They don't taste like cardboard. I'm so eating my feelings today. I don't even care. And then I'm going to put on a beat face. And then I'm going to act like a boss. Walk into the building like a boss. But deep down inside, I feel like hell. Uh, lady. Wow, I'm a lady. Mm, mm, far from it. <laughs> I'm just looking around. Thank you. I'm at Burlington Co Factory, guys, and look what I found. I found the cargo getaway palette. Which has a lot of like greens and stuff. Ten bucks. What else do I see here? I see the little contour palette. Look at this beach cosmetics. <gasps> Guys. Oh god, I don't want to spend money. $7.99. Oh crap. We have the Laura Geller Delectables eyeshadow palette. It is oh. Oh. <laughs> They got the Wild and Radiant Baked Illuminating Palette for six dwellers, which I'm sure is like that online. They have a Peachy King palette. They have some elf stuff. All right. Glow Getter. Hmm. Kind of want to know what's in here. These are all shimmer shades. Okay. I'm gonna tell you right now. Does this look ashy to you? That don't look like no honey. That looks ashy. That's what it looks like. But that's... <laughs> yeah. You crazy. Almay also thinks that she can sit there and charge $17.29 for foundation with two semi dark shades. Mm. Kick rocks. Kick all the rocks. What's this? Yes, to the Queen collection. Maybelline's all by itself. Hey, Miss Shayla. Yes, Miss Shayla. Uh-uh. Let's fix this. We're not even playing. There we go. There we go. Better. Right. So, I have to sit on a pillow right now because my ass <laughs> hurts so bad. Like, it's just, like, very uncomfortable. I did have a little meltdown in the car, just crying a little bit. You know, just dealing with the, the pain. Um, and I'm getting ready right now to go out because I refuse to stay home, even if I'm in pain. I don't know what to do about the situation because I did slip really bad. Like, I I don't think I've ever, I don't think I've fallen like that in, 
Like, I get it when I get spasms and stuff, but and I'll fall, but that it's not falling. It's, like, sliding down because I know it's coming. It's crazy. So, anyway, my ass hurts. <laughs> so, I'm um, trying to beat my face, but I'm in bed right now because my ass hurts. I can't sit on my table, which sucks because I have to film. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll probably prop myself up with pillows tomorrow because I need to get some more filming done. Okay. What kind of margaritas do you like? Hello my loves, I am ready for the night tonight. This picture will probably be uploaded for my birthday, so hopefully I can get a good shot. Um, trying to be an Instagram baddie, well a plus size Instagram baddie. So as you can see the girls are out. The outfit is actually a romper, it's short. I can show you guys all this, all this skin guys. So I got my knee high boots and this romper I found. So yeah, originally I felt like complete crap when I um, put on the romper, but I bought a size up. You guys already know how that is. Of course, details on the wig and the makeup, I'll try to leave down below, but most definitely I'll leave details on the wig. Um, for my eyes, of course, I use the BH Cosmetics palette, nice little red lip. This is Bessel by Stila with MAC Chestnut underneath. For my face is my MAC um, Pro, Pro Foundation MAC Studio whatever the one that matches the <laughs> it was in my favorites so i'm gonna head out and i will see you guys in my next clip <laughs> hey loves <coughs> hey loves it is saturday let me bring this visor down it is saturday february 3rd as you guys can tell from my little raspy what i call my hucka voice um i was having a good time yesterday i went out as you guys saw i had a beat face yesterday a little beat outfit too i don't think i've never worn anything like that with the type of body that i have i didn't get to take a full body shot picture which i'm fine with to be honest um but um i had a really good time i was in a lot of pain i am right now so i'm actually heading to my doctor i actually called them because i had a doctor's appointment for them yesterday and when i busted my ass oh let me turn on the car when I bust in my ass, <clears throat> I really just, I didn't get to go because it was, I was in so much pain. I was like, I just want to get home. So I dropped off my daughter. I did the things that I had to do real quick, um, errand wise. And I went straight home to try to lay down and I laying down makes it worse. I'm going to be real honest. So, um, I'll go see my doctor right now and see if he needs me to do any x-rays or anything like that or if it's just bruised whatever but my tailbone hurts so bad and i've been popping like motrin and tylenol all freaking day yesterday all day today the day's just started okay kind of liking this vlogging thing but i just feel like it's a lot of work so i commend those vlogs that i watch all the time um i don't know how the hell y'all do it <laughs> but <clears throat> Yeah, so I will see you guys in my next clip. Hello, my loves. Today is actually February 6th. I am officially 34 years old. <laughs> I'll be that bitch. Um, so I decided to glam myself up. I wanted to wake myself up. So the whole night I was looking at Orpha. I don't know if you guys know who she is. She's so much more popular than I will ever be um, on Instagram. And I was looking at her pictures and I always love her makeup. And on her, of course, it looks like best shit ever. And so today's look is inspired by her. Deadass. Ooh, a train. So I put in a little rhinestone here because I can't get the piercing. I'm just not about that life. I wish I could. Um, I don't think I would wear it well, though. And my lip would probably be like... <laughs> all heavy i did have my run i do have a monroe piercing but it's closed on the back so and i don't use it and of course i have my nose ring that i've had since before i got married so yeah there's that i mean i'm not doing anything today there's no plans um i did get some well my daughter got some amazing news she got accepted to her first choice college today i'm like i started crying thank god it was right before i was doing my makeup so <laughs> whatever oh outfit of the day you guys have probably seen this jacket because 
it was on Instagram. Check it out. I was trying to be a baddie, guys. I don't know how good I did that, but you know what? I got out of my comfort zone. I don't mind showing off my bull, my full body, my bull, my full body pictures. Um, I am extremely plus size. I'm not where I want to be, but you know, I am the type of girl that if I like an outfit, I'm going to buy it if it fits. Even if it, if I don't feel like it looks right, I try to make it. I don't know. It's funny because people say that you got to like rock it like you don't care. And I do. I rock everything like I don't care, but I kind of care. But then I'm like, you know, fuck it. You know, at least it's closed. At least I ain't naked, you know, completely trying to scare the town folk. We are all self-conscious. We're all women, men alike are self-conscious. Okay. So whatever but there's some baddie pictures up on instagram right now you guys can check it out i'm gonna be posting them actually in the next hour but by the time this video is up it's already been up it's probably been a week whatever this video is probably long as shit but y'all already know my videos are not short i just i just ramble i talk to you guys like you guys are there like that's how i feel like i feel like you guys are literally like it when i first started youtube i was scared because i knew i was just talking to a webcam at that point and I was like bitch you talk to yourself in the car all the time like what if someone is literally watching you right now and they want to relate to you and you're unrelatable because you're fucking scared of a little webcam so then I took that and I got way more comfortable and interacting with you guys on the comments and stuff like that when you guys tell me your stories or when you're like oh my god I want to try that like what do you think of this or have you tried this a lot of the time I haven't um it just feels very interactive to me and so I took that and was like I'm literally talking to you guys I this is exactly how I feel like I'm having a whole conversation with you guys you guys are probably nodding your head at some dumb shit that I say or like oh my god rolling your eyes like I that's how I picture it I picture it oh my ass really hurts by the way still hurting um <clears throat> So I'm scooching up a little bit. I'm still waiting to hear results, by the way, if my butt bone is broken or not. <laughs> oh my God. I swear to God, if it is, we're going to have a problem. Um, but yeah, I, I, I talk to you guys as if I was having a conversation with my friends because you guys are my friends. <laughs> I know that sounds kind of corny as shit, but at the end of the day, I wouldn't be doing this if I wasn't feeling like one that I loved it and two that you guys saw me for you guys didn't see me for who I am because I am this crazy not crazy but you know I'm like out there and eccentric and I could be basic and I could be you know crazy you know crazy I could be hyper I could be low like I, I could just be so many things and who wouldn't want to be admired or at least appreciated for being themselves because I would I don't know about you but I would um so yeah at the end of the day this is something I love doing so I'm super appreciative I I'm gonna be on YouTube now for six years in May right and I would have loved to have been at 34k this week because I'm 30 I'm turning 34 so I know it's corny or whatnot but it would have been a great opportunity um but I love the slow growth because I see a lot more genuine, you know, genuine people, people that genuinely like my content. They follow me. They ask me for thing like advice and stuff like that. So I'm cool about it. I appreciate it. I don't know you fucking lie. Anyway, I was hoping that, um, what the fuck was I thinking? I was, um, hoping that after this, I can take a drive to my local mall. I was going to stop off at Sephora and see if I can get the birthday gift. I just, you know what? I'm so salty and that site specifically. I just like going there because a bitch ain't not trying to waste gas to have a crappy experience. I've had a crappy experience at pretty much every Sephora in the whole state of Connecticut. Um, I've gone there with makeup. I've gone there without makeup. I have watched. I am a watcher. I, I talk a lot, but I like to watch people and see the responses. And I just don't get it. I don't get it. If you're a Sephora employee and you just so happen to watch 
or even an Ulta employee, and you so happen to be watching me at this moment, watching this vlog, I need to know why it's okay or why, or maybe you don't agree, or maybe you do agree. How do you treat people when they come in and they maybe not have makeup on their face or maybe they have a bummy outfit on or whatever or maybe they're latina or maybe they're black or maybe they're just dark skin or whatever how do you treat those customers when they walk in and i need people to be very 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 honest about this because i'm tired i am tired and haggard i don't treat people like especially when i did retail and i was managing and all that I greeted everyone, even if I had a stank as attitude. I'm like, hey, can you give me a second? You know, let me, you know, like, hey, just give me a second. I'll be right with you. Is especially when I was in a fucked up mode. You know, when I was in a really, really because I, I used to manage, so you could just imagine what kind of mood I was in. Um, let me just this heat is warm as shit. So like, I just don't get that every time I have gone into Sephora. It was two instances where I actually had makeup on and was treated poorly and the like four or five other instances I wasn't wearing any makeup because I don't necessarily feel like I have to be wearing makeup so that I can go to a makeup store and buy the things I need. I just don't grasp that concept. Like I don't need to look like I know what I'm doing. I get treated, I swear to swear to God, I get treated fantastic when I go into a Mac store. I think I only had one bad experience at a Mac store and that was actually in Massachusetts. So whatever. They apparently thought they was better than, you know, the end all be all. I just don't get it. Like there's no reason to be rude. There's no reason to ignore people, especially when they legitimately look like they're looking for something. And, like, I could be a bitch. Like, I can open up the drawers, the back stock, and pick out the item that I want and go check the hell out myself. But I don't want to disrespect the staff that way because I know we're not supposed to be going in there as customers to reach for the items to get them. But when you're at the store for 40 minutes, you know exactly what you want. And now one person has acknowledged you. As a matter of fact, they've acknowledged everyone else that has stood next to me. But not once have they acknowledged me. I'm going to feel some type of way. Especially when those people don't look anything like me. And I know, and, and y'all could tell me till I'm blue in the face that I'm wrong, because I know I'm not. Me being a big plus size Latina woman plays a lot of things against me. I'm going to go into the mall like this today. And I can almost guarantee you that I'm going to be treated as if I am somebody. I don't know. Maybe not. We'll see. I'll touch back base with you guys. Um, I'm not going to vlog in there. I'll probably vlog like little snippets of items I may be interested in. But I don't want to stay in there too long. Especially at Sephora. Um, but Mac, I'll go in there. You know, whatever. They treat me like the best. I've gone in there like haggard, crying. Like just because I needed to just go in there. And look at makeup. Sorry, I got itchy nose. Um, and they've always treated me nice. And they always kind of like see my talent. So they're like, you look like you know what you're doing. And I'm like, yeah, I'm a makeup artist. They're like, oh, why don't you apply here? And I'm like, I don't know. I never thought about it. You know, like I always get, com I always have conversations with them. They're always so sweet. Even when they're busy. Like every now and again, you get your little whatever one. But they're usually willing to help you out even when they're like swamped. So I don't get it why Sephora all of a sudden has all these uppity ass people. They have older women there. They're a little bit nicer. But then you have your young ones. Y'all acting like y'all own the world. Boo boo. No, you don't. No, you don't. You're wearing a frock. You're wearing a frock and you can't match that foundation because I've been watching you. You have not matched that girl's foundation well. So do not toot your own horn just yet, boo boo. So it's like, I, I just, and this is just from one particular person that I almost like lost my shit on. But anyway, I know I rambled on long enough about that. So we're just going to probably chop this up into a shorter conversation. But I just don't understand why when you walk into a Sephora or an Ulta that people think it's okay to treat you badly because you may not look like you know what you're doing. So you don't look like you're going to spend money. And guess what, bitch? I am not going to spend none of my coins there i'm just gonna go get my free gift swatch probably a few things see if y'all got anything new um 
and just look at overpriced shit that I can get from the direct site with my pro discount. So yeah, not spending my money at Sephora. I'm just gonna get my free gift and bounce, okay? I don't fuck with Sephora, okay? And Ulta's another one. Ulta shady as hell. Uh-uh, mm-mm. And before people come dump, jump down my throat, sit back and think of all the little petty conversations you have had with your coworkers. I know petty because I've had petty conversations um, with my coworkers and even about coworkers, but I wouldn't do that in front of clients. And then to treat the client like crap or a, a you know a customer like crap. No, <laughs> canceled. Bye bye. Okay. That was actually a very pleasant experience. I got my samples and I used up some points. I had like 800 something fucking points. Um, again, I don't know how. I something like this for editing. Um, but that's a hell no. <clears throat> my ass will do a 32 gig RAM. Yeah. This looks cool too. DJ friendly, it looks like. It was nice to get out of the house and to look at things that I can't afford. Now I have to get home so that they can come grab their car. They're actually really early. They said from 12 to 2. It's not even 12 yet. So. <sighs> anyway, I actually had a very pleasant experience at Sephora. It was the same woman that's usually there. She's very sweet and kind. Um... She's never rude at all. She, for some reason, always looks like she's always busy. Like, you know, she's always kind of making sure she's doing things and taking care of people, whatever. And then I go to Mac, and oh my God, I just, I always get the best treatment there, which I'm, you know, I'm very ecstatic with. So I got one item, and the one item I got was actually their liquid lipsticks. got the shade so me because it was so me and i figured if i like it then i'll come back you know i get the mac pro discount so i could technically splurge if i want to but that's not really in the cards right now i don't have any plans today i'm actually gonna go home and start cooking up at meal and if you guys don't know what that is it's it's a pork shoulder and i'm i was supposed to bake it from this morning but i forgot so good thing i'm heading home now um, a doggy, there's a doggy in the window. But yeah, I'm heading home now so I can, you know, season it and put it to bake. Fuck, I don't have a pan, do I? I don't think I have a pan for it, but we'll figure it out. I have to go back to work tomorrow. So my birthday week, weekend-ish stuff that I was doing is over. It is over, but today I'm gonna make the best of it. We've got some amazing news today and, you know, it's look i'm taking every little blessing that i can receive and hugging and holding on to it so tight even when you're having like a really dark day or something isn't going right or you're dealing with some stressors that just it isn't going to go away and you and there's nothing you can do except just to deal and live with it when these little blessings these little opportunities i just I take them and I try my best to make the best of them and to hold on tight and to appreciate it because it's hard to see the good when it's so much negativity so I totally understand that but you can't live your life like that because it's just going to be toxic and nothing good will ever happen and you will be stuck in that bad place so even though I've been um, overwhelmed with a lot of sadness and um, horrible stress horrible painful stress on top of pain and busting my ass and probably breaking my coccyx um these little opportunities i will never get again you know what i'm saying like and if i do perfect but you know i i, I just anyway so yeah guys i'm going to pretty much go home snatch off this wig take off my pants cook and chill out for the rest of the day and enjoy my last day off and yeah that's pretty much it guys i love you guys so much thank you guys for joining me on my blog 
my vlog. Let me know if you have any questions down below. Of course, you guys, I try my best to answer them if they make sense. Like, yeah, I gotta write in a language I can understand because I can't. We don't have translate on YouTube. But anyway, let me know down below if you guys have any questions, concerns, or y'all just want to say hey, baby. Um, <laughs> and I will hit you guys back up. I'm sorry about the shaky car. But anyway, guys, that's pretty much it. I love you guys. See you guys in my next video.